Welcome to Rogue Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's On The Move, and today we're taking a look at an easy to use wireless backup camera system, the RVS 155W. Stick around. So RVS makes all kinds of wireless and backup camera systems. The 155W is a pretty basic model that is good for just general use in an RV or any vehicle really. You mount an included wireless camera on the back of whatever you're trying to see behind and an included monitor in the front, in our case the truck cab, but it could also be a motorhome or a different type of vehicle and the camera transmits the image from the back to the front wirelessly so you don't have to run wires. This system utilizes a digital transmission technology, which is key. That means that instead of transmitting it utilizing analog like the old TV style, it's transmitting it using digital packets of data similar to like a Wi-Fi network. The benefit of that is that you're never going to see static in the image. It's either going to come through clear or not at all. In today's age of so many wireless technologies, there's so much interference in the analog spectrums that it really is imperative to utilize a digital transmission to get a really good image. According to the literature, this system is designed to transmit about 70 feet behind the monitor. We're about 55 feet in front of the back of our trailer right now, and I have a crystal clear image back there. The image is transmitting through the truck and the trailer and still seems to be rock solid. So this is a complete system. In the box, it comes with the monitor, which you mount in the front of your truck, the camera that you mount on the back, and all the wires associated with that. It comes with a power wire for the camera, a power wire for the monitor that can be either hardwired in or plugged into the uh, 12 volt or cigarette lighter outlets. It also comes with a suction cup mount that uh, is really great and seems to be able to extend uh, quite large for even large dashes and trucks like ours. The camera seems really well built. It's got a really stout metal housing and it is waterproof, which I would hope since this is intended to be on the back of your vehicle. The camera also has night vision, which means that it can see in very low light. It also has IR lights, infrared lights on the sides of the camera that actually light up the night so that you can see in complete darkness. You can't actually see that light, but the camera can. So installing the system, I found to be pretty straightforward. It does come with an instruction manual, but if you get into it to actually look at the installation instruction, it basically says wire the camera to power and wire the monitor to power and turn it on. And that's really as basic as it is. However, it does require a little bit more to actually get the camera working on the back of, say, an RV. I chose to wire the camera into the running lights on our RV so that I could just turn the running lights on from the truck and we don't have to add any other switches or any other power source to the back of the RV. We had running lights on the top of our RV in the back, so I just popped one of those out and pulled the wires for the camera in through a hole that I drilled where we were going to mount it and spliced it directly into the running lights on the back of the RV. There were not any screws included, but we just used some uh, some basic screws and screwed the bracket into the back of uh, the RV right over where the um, the wire goes for the camera and then just mounted the uh, the camera on there it does have a little rain hood that was a little bit difficult to get installed on top of it but uh, once we got that installed it it looks really nice after getting the camera installed, we came up front and put the monitor together, which is basically just plugging in the uh, plugging in the 12 volt receptacle and mounting the windshield suction cup mount. It extends and moves in all kinds of different ways, so we found a position that we really like it in. Once you get it all plugged in and on, turn on both the camera. In our case, that's turning on the running lights, and the camera comes on, and then press the pair button on the monitor, and within seconds, it should connect to the camera and start displaying the image. It took me maybe about an hour to get the camera installed. It just required a drill, some caulk, and some wire strippers to install it. I did find that the camera, when you mount the bracket on the back of a flat surface, you can't really tilt the camera up very far because you have to install the antenna on the back, and the antenna interferes with how far up the camera can be tilted. Because of that, our camera is tilted quite far down, but it allows us to see our bike rack on the back of our RV, and it allows us to see out about 100 to 150 feet behind the RV. General operation of it for us, uh, we have a fifth wheel. Once we get the fifth wheel plugged in and hooked up and ready to go, all we have to do is turn on the running lights and that's gonna turn on the camera in the back. 
Then we have to turn on the monitor here. And once it's paired the first time, it'll just automatically connect every time. And it comes on within seconds. So there's really no waiting and it just clicks on. And that is so great. It is so incredibly easy. You don't have to mess with anything else. You just turn it on and it works. Up here on the monitor, there are a few options. There is a menu option that when you select it, there is a brightness selection. That's the brightness of the monitor itself. A contrast option, which you can increase or decrease the contrast to your liking. Some situations, um, the shadows really, really darken out everything. Um, and you might want to increase or decrease the contrast a little bit so you can see into those shadows a little bit more. And then there's also a guidelines option and you can turn that on or off. In our case with the camera mounted so high, the guidelines are, they're arbitrary. So it really didn't mean anything to us, but you can turn that on or off depending on uh, what you prefer. There's also a mirror or normal button. You can mirror the image. Um, I prefer to have it mirrored so that it's like looking in the rear view mirror on the left side. We see the left side, um, left side stuff but if you if you needed it to be faced the other way for some reason you can switch it around the other buttons are for navigating the menu and the last option is to pair the camera if it disconnected or when you connect it for the first time. The monitor here is about five inches diagonal. It's not real big, but it's plenty big to see an obstacle behind you or um, if you're passing somebody, you see if you've got clearance. The resolution is relatively low on the system, but again, it's plenty to see obstacles behind you or a car or anything like that. A big thing about the visual of it is that the colors are really inaccurate. A, not really a big deal for what we're using it for, but there is no IR cut filter on this uh, lens as far as I can tell. And that's so that when the IR night vision kicks on that it can see that uh, infrared, but it really changes the color of um, greenery. Grass is usually like a purple or red and trees are kind of the same color, but asphalt and other cars tend to show up as the correct color on the screen. We've been using the system for about four months and it has worked flawlessly for backing the RV up in uh, campgrounds. It has been so nice to be able to see obstacles behind us. We ran for about a year and a half before having a uh, backup camera all the time. And um, it's been really helpful. A lot of times my wife is still back there helping me back up, but now I can see her all the time. She's not, it's always hard to see her in the mirrors. So now I can even see her just on the screen saying, you know, I need you to go left, I need you to go right. And that really, really helps. Also, I can see if I'm gonna run into every, anything. And it has, uh, it's always worked when we're moving really slowly. At highway speeds, it works probably 95% of the time. There have been a few situations where it, it hasn't stopped working. It's never stopped working. But at highway speeds, we have seen it start to stutter a little bit. And we can't figure out any rhyme or reason as to why it does that. Uh, maybe there's power lines along the side of the road or something that are interfering with it. But um, most of the time at highway speeds, it's perfectly smooth and you could basically use it as a rear view mirror. But sometimes it'll start to jitter a little bit. And it really hasn't been uh, disruptive at all while driving. But uh, if it is stuttering, I'm always sure to make sure to use my mirrors, say, when passing somebody in addition to the camera so that you make sure that you clear them. Being digital, however, we have never seen any static with the system. It's either perfectly smooth or maybe a little tiny bit jittery, but otherwise it's a perfectly crystal clear image, which is really, really nice. We did start out with a system with the antenna on the back pointed up. Um, and we tried to match that on the front. We found out that it actually seems to work better by pointing the antenna off to the side and uh, putting the antenna on the side on the monitor as well. You really wanna try to line up the polarities of the antennas, whether it's straight up or straight down, be it that we had the antenna in the back straight up is more of an angle because it follows the angle of the camera. It was harder to match that. So straight out to the side, we can line those polarities up and get a much better signal quality. So how about the night vision? It works. You can see in complete darkness with this system. The IR lights will kick on when it gets to a certain darkness and there's quite a bit of purple in the image uh, because of the IR, but it does work. Objects are a little bit more fuzzy, but again, if I'm trying to back in somewhere at night and my wife is back there directing me, I can clearly see her or a bush or a child or any obstacle behind the RV, even in complete darkness. The camera also works really, really well in low 
light. It's amazing when uh, when the sun's going down and we're driving. You, you can look at the screen and it still looks like it's daylight on the screen because it can pick up so much light. When using it going down the road, headlights from other cars don't really seem to bother it that much. Uh, sometimes you'll get kind of a bright spot, but it doesn't wash out the image or anything. The only complaint I have driving with it at night is that the monitor, even on the lowest brightness, is much too bright for me when going down a dark highway. When backing up in RV parks and such, the brightness isn't really a problem because we're going slow and I'm usually looking out and around anyway, but when you're on a really dark stretch of road, I have to turn the system off because it is just way too bright for me. So as I've said, we've been using this for about four months and overall I've really, really enjoyed having it. It is so incredibly simple to use. It comes on like that and it just works. Um, backing up, it has worked perfectly every time. Just sitting here, we haven't had any, any stutter or dropouts. The image is just crystal clear 55 feet back to the behind our RV. It's been so helpful for getting into RV spots that are tight or um, at night. Also changing lanes and just going down the highway and also just no if somebody's behind you you know someone's tailgating you and uh, they might whip out behind you it's nice to know that they're back there a lot of times you just can't see them if you're a really large rig having run for so long without a dedicated backup camera I think that we didn't know what we were missing but now that we have it we feel so much safer I love how quick and easy the system is to use and it's just uh, it's just basic and works the only real complaint again as I said before I have with it is that it is uh, the screen is just too bright for running down the road at night so this has been my review and thoughts on the RVS 155 backup camera system you can find a link to the product in the description below the video thanks for watching road gear reviews if you have any questions or comments please leave them below also be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads of our travel product reviews